morning everyone. Today we're going to be looking at geometry ultimately and different cultural geometry. So this project is based on kind of Persian Arabic artworks of geometry which is absolutely stunning. I'm zooming in and just doing a simple version of one part of the geometry that you might find on the top of the ceiling with decoration or you can also find it on the gates um, and the tile work around various beautiful buildings and mosques. Now for this you're going to need your A4 piece of paper, if you go bigger than A4 you're going to find that you're going to be collaging for a long time. We're going to do some simple geometry drawing and then we're going to collage it into a mosaic style artwork. So consider how big you want to be going. This is just an A4 piece. I also have some different coloured papers here for my collaging stage and I have some simple drawing equipment. So I've got a HB pencil. I have a 30 centimetre ruler or a 12 inch ruler depending if you want to go in imperial or metric. I've got a compass, an eraser and I will also be using my glue and my scissors for my mosaicing stage. Now with this, um, the paper does need to be able to take the glue so this is a mixed media paper. Before we can do anything exciting, we have to draw a box. Now all my lines in this project are going to be a lot darker than your line should be, they're just so that you can see them nice and crisp on the camera footage. First of all, the maximum size that your square box can be is obviously um, the shortest length of your paper. On this, because it's A1, that's 21 centimetres. I'm going to draw in my 19 centimetres. So I've got my 19 centimetres line because I've taken my centimetre off here and my centimetre here to give myself a little bit of a nice border. It'll look, you know, crisp with an artwork. That means then I need 19 centimetres going up here. If I can line that up. And you do need to try and be as accurate as possible when doing this or you're going to find your pattern goes a little bit wonky. everyone can see that well. Now first of all when you're going to be using anything like a compass and you're working in a box you've got to find the centre point. The easiest way of finding a centre point is to go corner to corner. Like I said do make sure your lines are a lot softer than my lines. This is purely so that you can see what I'm up to. But if I go corner to corner you can see I've got the centre of my box there. Right so I put my compass in the centre I'm giving myself a little bit of excess room because I want the design and I'm going to draw my circle. Now this is not the best of compasses so I'm having to hold it from the centre point at the bottom to try and stop it from flaring out. If you're doing it properly and you've got a good compass you would hold it from the top and just twizzle it round. And again, you will probably find that you want your circle line to be a little bit lighter than mine. Mine should be a bit darker. You can just increase that so that you can see the edge of my circle and how I am working this out. This is a little bit faded up here. Okay, so now I've got to measure along the bottom and half it. At 19, I've got 9.5. Bottom, and 9.5 on the top. And I'm going to join them together. Now if they're going right, they should go through the center point of the circle. And then I'm also doing this up the side. And you should have something that looks like this. Now at this point is when everyone's going to start getting a little bit more bamboozled. We're going to take it step by step so don't worry too much about it. Now first of all what we're looking at drawing is we're linking up certain points to get the star formation. I'm going to take this point here at the bottom and I'm going to take it through this point 
So it's going up through to give me my first line. Now, if it's going right, it should slightly cross over. So you can see that going through there. Okay, line number one, not too painful. Now we're gonna take this point again and we're gonna join it over to this point now. So we're kind of doing the mirror. Line two. Then we're gonna do the same, but come in the opposite direction. So this point, because remember this is like mirroring this, is going to go over here to this corner point to start off with. That is going to go through here, like so. Then that point is going to go through here, because you've kind of got a mirror image of what you've just done. And you should have something that looks like this. So it's kind of got an arrow head pointing up and an arrow head pointing down. And we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna work now from right to left. So I'm gonna take this right point, and this right point is gonna go through this center point over here. So that is going through here. Now immediately as that comes through here, you should see that you get like a diamond shape, a kite shape upside down, if all is going well. Then, again, I'm going to take it over to this point. And I've got a kite shape just sitting up here. Now I've got to do again the mirror fashion. So I'm going to take this side, and this side is going to be going up to this point. Then, it's just got to go down to this point down here. Okay, now, if all is going well, you should be able to see a star in your circle. I really hope you can see a star in your circle. If not, we've got serious problems and we need to kind of go back and see what's happening. If you can see the star, so if I get well, 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 you can see that star. Now the trick with this is therefore taking out the correct lines. Right, so I've got a pink pencil. Do not do this at home. This is purely so that you can see which lines you need to keep and which lines you're gonna rub out. I am gonna draw around the lines that I am gonna keep and you're gonna keep so you can see exactly which lines you need to remove. Put it in a nice bright pink. Hopefully that will show up well on the camera. So hopefully, no, mine's, I've got a little bit wobbly there, we'll, we'll ignore that, we'll go around there. You can see that pattern in your pencil drawing. Once you can see that, you need to then take out all the pencil lines that I haven't turned pink. So you can see I'm rubbing out the centre, and you should be rubbing out the centre, but leaving those pencil lines. Now that you've got this lovely star pattern. Can you see that star pattern in the middle? Then you need to be taking out the centre points for work out. Then as they radiate out from that centre point and circle, they need to be removed. Just like so. Then take out your circle. And if all is going well, and I'm going to go around my border, you should have a nice pencil drawing that looks just like this, okay? You see that there? Oops, if I just finish that off. Okay, just like that. Then we're ready to do some mosaicing. Right, so now that you've got your star, you need to get a bit of PVA glue. And, um, really, some scissors and some cut of paper and start cutting up. Try and keep it so it's a regular pattern, so if you choose a colour to go around the edge, you need to go around the edge of everything and fill it in, and think of symmetry, so you might even want to use these triangles to make different colours that flow around the picture. Let's start cutting up and choosing some paper. You could, if you wanted to, look at the kind of colour ranges. 
that you find in more of the Persian mosaics. There's usually a lot of blue and white and gold. I should have picked up some gold. I might have to use some yellow substitute. All right, so I'm going to go with those kind of colours. Then you need to start cutting up some shapes. And I'm going to do kind of fairly small tiles. The bigger the tiles you do, obviously, the quicker you're going to get coverage. Your tiles can be squares or triangles or wonky shapes, it's completely up to you. And you can, if you wanted to, sit there and plan which colours are going to go where. I'm kind of winging this, because you know, it's a typical style that I approach all my artworks in. It's nicer, you can never quite know where it's going to go. So you've got this on. Let me grab a brush. Bit of glue. Start working in some patterns. You might find it easier if you take your brush, it's got a little bit of glue. You can pick up your colours, start playing around with them. Well that was fun and very chilled out, very relaxing because you're just kind of gliding those shapes in and fitting into the patterns. It's a really nice, simple, easy going project just to get your teeth into, which could be transferred across into real mosaics if you want to have a go. It's quite simple and will yield some beautiful results. I hope you've enjoyed learning some basic geometry, um, which is very visually stunning. And I'll see you all next week. Have a lovely week. Bye everyone.